At this time, General Odierno and Mrs. Daly will replace the insignia of command, Sergeant Major, with the rank insignia of the Sergeant Major of the Army. The Sergeant Major of the Army's rank insignia is distinctive. Only the senior enlisted representative of the United States Army is authorized to wear it. It has the original, although slightly smaller, two stars that denote the senior enlisted person in the Army, which are flanked by the American Eagle centered on the chevron. I state your name. I, Daniel A. Daly. Having been appointed Sergeant Major of the Army. Having been appointed Sergeant Major of the Army. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well. And that I will well. And faithfully. And faithfully. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office. Of the office. Upon which I'm about to enter. Upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> General and Mrs. Odierno, General Sullivan, the Honorable Mr. Carson, General and Mrs. Allen, thank you for being here, the Honorable Mr. Spear, Mrs. Hammock, Sergeant Major Battaglia, Command Sergeant Major and Mrs. Bush, Sergeant Major of the Army Preston, General and Flag Officers, Distinguished Defense and Army Leaders, Command Sergeants Majors and Sergeant Majors, Soldiers, my family, Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I am honored and humbled to stand before you today. Thank you, Jenna Odierno, for your kind words. I also want to express my sincere gratitude for four years of character, competence, and most importantly, commitment exhibited by the Sergeant Major of the Army, Ray Chandler. He will be missed, and I have a tough job to fill his shoes. It is a great day to be a soldier. It really is. And when I started this journey, that's all I ever wanted to be, just a soldier. As a young man, I was a pretty average kid. I did well in school, but I wasn't the valedictorian. I was just somewhere in the middle of the class. I played high school sports, but I wasn't a superstar athlete. I couldn't play in the band, because frankly, I don't have any musical talent at all. I'm even average by military standards. Five foot nine and 161 pounds as of this morning. I checked. <laughs> by all accounts, I was just a poor average kid from northeastern Pennsylvania. So how does the middle of the road guy make it to this rank? To wear this rank? To represent the finest fighting force the world has known? Well, the answer is simple. It's sitting in the seats in front of me. And it's even more simple. It's leadership. Leadership from great soldiers, non-commissioned officers, and officers that I served with over the years. These are the people who make Army leaders. Leadership is not born. It's built over time. It takes great leaders to build leaders. And I'm merely a product of the best the Army has ever had to offer. I am grateful for that. And even more so, to have many of those people here to support me today. It is no less their achievement that Dan Daly is the 15th Sergeant Major of the Army. If you wanted to build a Sergeant Major of the Army, sir, all the tools are right here today. The leaders have taught me that leadership is getting people to do things, but great leaders lead with inspiration and passion. And therefore, soldiers follow because they want to, not because they have to. I'd be remiss if I didn't take the opportunity to recognize a few of these people. First are the great people of my hometown. Yes, that little town in northeastern Pennsylvania. Many have traveled here today to be with me. 
um, Sean Jones um, and his wife and their lovely children, my best friend growing up. Sean, you're an inspiration to me. Thank you. Mr. and Mrs. Duell, my high school principal, please do not ask him about my high school years. <laughs> but he is also a retired colonel. Um, and he is also a reserve ambassador for the state of Pennsylvania. That is amazing. And him and Ed Moyer, who is also from my hometown and one of my friend's fathers, um, who is also a veteran, worked tirelessly to keep a, the legends alive of our veterans. And uh, gentlemen, thank you for what you do and thank you for being here today. Okay. Some of the lieutenants I served with are here today. Um, and uh, some of them have become very successful, even more successful than I. Um, the Honorable Ryan Alment, sir, are you here? I know that I saw you. Um, wow, what an accomplishment. But we actually knew he would become a senator someday, and, and we're extremely proud of you. Then Lieutenant Frank Blake and then Lieutenant Darren Amick, young lieutenants when I was a first sergeant, thanks for your leadership. As a matter of fact, I think actually you benefited from my leadership more than I did from yours. <laughs> Except for the senator, sir. <laughs> I definitely benefited from yours. One of my company commanders, and, uh, and I'll say it out loud, my favorite company commander is here today, Captain Kevin Ryan, uh, now Mr. Ryan. Sir, uh, thanks for leading the way you did. Soldiers will never forget you, and neither will I. Um, one of my brigade commanders here today, retired uh, Colonel Brian Jones and his lovely wife, Karen. Sir, thank you for your leadership and example. Uh, both you and Karen were highly respected by our soldiers in the 3rd Brigade Combat Team. One of my division commanders is here as well, um, and he's no stranger to the Army. But, uh, General Perkins and Mrs. Perkins, sir, you are the shining example of what an officer and gentleman truly is. And uh, Holly and I are blessed to have had the opportunity to serve both you and Mrs. Perkins, not once, but on two occasions. God bless you, and thank you. General Cohn, who could not be here today, but General Cohn is responsible for making me a strategic leader. If you could have witnessed the passion and dedication that General Cohn gave this country every day, you would be as inspired as I was. Sir, Mrs. Cohn, thank you, and God bless you. Many of NCOs have uh, had a tough job of molding me throughout my career. Um, and a few of them are here today that I'd like to recognize. Command Sergeant Major Retired Mark Baker. I've got a little story to share, so uh, um, I've got to recognize some other people, but I will share you the story with, of Sergeant Major Mark Baker. Command Sergeant Major Retired Zoltan James. Sergeant Major Retired Scott Leeling. And some of those that are still in active duty, the members of the BOD, and personally and professionally, Command Sergeant Major Chris Greca and Darren Bond. Thanks, guys. Your direct and honest feedback is exactly what I needed at times even when I didn't want to hear it. Now back to that story about Mark Baker. Well, he was my first sergeant, and he was very good at giving us very clear and concise guidance. And I was uh, sergeant first class, eager to get a ranger tab. I was a young infantryman. And so I went to first sergeant, and I said, first sergeant, what guidance do you have for me before I go to ranger school? He said, Sergeant Daly, that's pretty simple. He goes, either you get a ranger tab, or you don't come back to this unit. <laughs> Mark, I'm not sure that was the right thing to say, um, but it worked. I got a ranger tab, and I, I love you for that. Not last but not least of the people I'd like to, the pleasure of working with is the great civil leaders that work outside of our gates every day, those community members that contribute to our soldiers. I call them the hidden heroes of, of the Army. And one of those special people is here today. She traveled afar to be here. Um, her name is Miss Cy Freeberg. She's a Fort Carson good neighbor and a dear family friend. Ma'am, thank you for being here today, and more so, thank you for being there for soldiers every day. And I can't believe you do what you do. It is amazing. These professionals took a poor kid off the streets of a zinc town in northeastern Pennsylvania and built him into the soldier you see today. So General Odierno, if I mess this up, now you know exactly who needs to be held accountable. <laughs> There are a few other people who deserve credit for pushing me, um, this average kid, throughout the years. It's on another level of leadership. It's development that comes on a more personal level. 
First, the leadership and life lessons I learned from my mother, Eileen. She gave me and my three brothers the ethical and moral foundations we needed. Mom, thank you, and I love you. My father, who recently passed, who was also an Army veteran, as you heard the chief say. He taught us boys a strong work ethic, discipline, and ensured we all had a sense of patriotism. Dad, rest well. The boys are okay. My dear brothers, what can I say? I have to thank them both dearly. See, for the longest time, almost 15 years, I was the baby of the family, and that comes with its privileges and sacrifices. And in being so, my older brothers felt it was their responsibility to begin building my resiliency at a very young age. <laughs> now, in the Daily House, um, resiliency is code word for the punching bag <laughs> during their live reenactments of Saturday morning episodes of Kung Fu Theater. <laughs> Brothers, you made me strong. Thank you, but don't try it now. <laughs> Combined with years of military service and the fact that in this stage of your life, the younger samurai now has the advantage. And the outcome might be somewhat different. <laughs> then, of course, my baby brother, Matthew, comes along and made me Daniel in the middle again. Um, but I'm grateful to be very close with my family. Um, David, James, Matthew, thank you for everything you have done for me and Holly. And lastly, the love of my life and the son she gave me. I love you. I love you for sticking by me for 21 years um, and the seven that I wasn't there but most of all, because you're my best friend. Thank you. <laughs> and by son Dakota, I'm so proud of you. I know I'm not good at saying it. Dad's always one that's got to push, um, but you're the reason why I get up every day and work so hard. You really are. All these people, from the former leaders to my family, made it possible for an average guy to be the representative for a million of the nation's best and brightest. That's why I'm absolutely convinced that anyone, anyone can be the sergeant leader of the Army. Any soldier in today's Army, even an average soldier like me, has the potential to be an Army senior leader someday. It just requires two things, great leadership and a strong Army family. So, General Ordierno, I'd like to present to you the people responsible for me being here today. They deserve the gratitude and most definitely have earned the recognition. So if you could, please join me in a round of applause for all these great people that are responsible. Sir, if it's okay with you, I'd, I would like to keep the office in the parking spot because they're pretty cool. That's, that's, uh, but as General Omar Bradley once said, leadership is intangible. Therefore, no weapon ever designed will ever replace it. And our chief has said very clearly, adaptive leadership is what our soldiers need. It's what our soldiers want. But more importantly, it's what our nation expects. Holly and I are humbled and honored to continue to serve the greatest team the world has ever known. All I ever wanted to be was a soldier and do the best I could do. So, sir, that's my promise to you. As the Sergeant of the Army, I will never f forget that I'm just a soldier and I need to do the best I can do every day. I want to thank you all for sharing this special day with me and my family. Um, and I want to thank, again, General Odierno and the Secretary who could not be here um, for having the confidence in me and believing in me. We are Army strong. Therefore, this will, be this will defend. Thank you. <laughs>